So now we are going to look at uh, the Terraform code. So whatever we have discussed so far, we are going to see that in action. So I am going to use my uh, developer of the instance, which is this one. And in this demo, you will be creating one user, one application, and then I will be assigning the user to the application to show you how we can achieve the same thing without admin console directly with Terraform. So in the Terraform, you can see I have a similar project structure. I have provider.tf where I have declared the provider required for this webinar, which is Okta. So this has collection of all the Okta APIs and I am using a specific version of the Okta collection. Again, you can get this from the Terraform documentation. Uh, the version would keep on updating. So if you have uh, if you have written the code already, you might want to stick to one version. If you are new to Terraform, then you can use a latest version, which is 4.6.3. And we are taking it from the Terraform provider, and hence we are referring the provider name, which is Okta slash Okta. Once the provider is declared and Terraform is initiated, Terraform will first download this provider and store it under dot Terraform folder. So here is the provider stored. And once this provider is stored, it can be used to execute Terraform code. Now, the entry file is main.tf, where we have to declare our Okta variables. So in, in order to initiate the Okta provider, which we have downloaded, we have to define an org name of Okta. So for me, in this scenario, the org name is dev-9502651. And I am declaring those in a variable called as org name. And all of those variables have been declared here in variables.auto.tfbars. So I have declared my org name and base URL, which is octa.com. So if you are using your own Okta a developer version, then you might also have a similar format. If you're using a business one, then it may be your company.octa.com. So you can use that. Now, if you see, it's called as auto.tfbars. So it means it will load automatically instead of us uh, declaring any path for this file. So there are multiple ways we can refer to this variable. When we say auto.tfbars, that Terraform would load these files automatically and first read all the values from these files and then execute any other file. Similarly, I have declared secrets.auto.tfbars. So that's, this is where we are going to store any kind of secret. And this is API token, which is stored here, which will be used to execute Okta APIs. Now uh, I can create my configuration. So in Terraform, each of these configuration is called as resources. So Okta user is a resource, SAML application is a resource, OIDC application is also a resource. Similarly, policies, routing rules, anything, these all are called resources. And in Terraform, we need to first define that we are going to create a resource. So I'm using the keyword called as a resource. And then I have to define a resource type. What type of resource am I going to create? So here we are defining the resource type as Okta underscore user, which is a predefined type from Okta provider. And then a unique name for my resource so that I can later reference it. So uh, here I have just used an example called John underscore Smith, right? In this name, you cannot have spaces or any other special character other than dash or underscore. Then you have to define the different attributes associated with this user. Again, uh, the attributes may vary depending on your environment if you have any, any other custom attributes, right? So these are the attributes which I have defined for the user, like first name, last name, login. Again, if you have been using Okta from previously, you know first name, last name, login, and email are the required attributes by default in Okta. All of the attributes are optional. But if you have created any other required attributes, you have to specify them here in this list. So this user is already present in my Okta. If I want to create a new user, what I can do is I can create one more entry here. Since you can see instead of writing, uh, using buttons in the admin console, I am writing a configuration of the user I would like to be created in my Okta. So instead of John Smith, I can say that this is 
like um in general right and as i told this does not support spaces so we would not provide any spaces here then we can fill michael last name as angelo and the login can be michael dot angelo at askmeandy.com similarly i would do the email address If anyone here is not familiar with Okta, they can go through our course on YouTube on Okta Administrator, or they can also reach out to Abhishek Nanisha for more information on that. Uh, Okta and Okta AP is a prerequisite to this webinar. Again, if you would like, you can fill out this information. If, since these information are not mandatory information, you can also remove them. Let's say, I don't want to fill in this information for this user. I can just delete this and I can execute my Terraform with this four information only, right? Now, once I have written my Terraform configuration, I want to apply it, right? So this is the first time you're setting up Terraform. 